Good morning, Woodruff Road Christian Church. Here to Monday, March 23rd. Uh, I'm happy to try and connect with you again here in this virtual way. Uh, we're, we're trying to stay connected as the church, Woodruff Road Christian Church. We're trying to um, have opportunity to dive into the Word, at least something familiar, something uh, with some continuity in this time of isolation, this time of separation. Uh, change of venue today. I, I found myself missing the noise and the vibrancy that usually comes from this end of the building. So uh, I, I'm camped out down here today to talk to you and give you some a blue background. It makes us feel a little less stir-crazy. But I have a topic today that I actually want to talk about. It's a topic I've been thinking about uh, since a lot of this has started. And it's, it's one of the fears that I know church leaders all over the country, maybe all over the world, are worried about in this time of separation as we're not gathering as the body of Christ in a, in a physical way. And it's the issue of quitting. There's a fear that if we uh, are given the opportunity to quit, we will. Now, I'm, I'm kind of an expert on that, at least conceptually, the opportunity to quit. Uh, there's a phrase that I've held on to and used uh, for a while in my life. Um, it's this. I wish everything was as easy as getting fat. Now, uh, I have some experience with that. Um, get a little personal here really quick. But I, in 2016, I was at the, the biggest I ever was in my life. I was, I was pushing 300 pounds. Uh, I was completely unhealthy and um, was eating myself into an early grave. Um, the idea of running five, six steps was too much. Uh, I had wrestled with my weight. Well, that's the wrong word to use, isn't it? Because wrestling implies actually, you know, doing some sort of physical activity. Uh, I think I, I snuggled with my weight uh, for most of my life, almost all of my life. Uh, and it's just these last four or five years that I've really m tried to maintain healthier habits to try and stay healthy or healthy-ish. Um, but I wish everything was as easy as getting fat. Because you know how easy it is to get fat? It's the easiest thing you could do. You just quit everything else. Quitting is easy. Quitting is simple. Quitting is the path of least resistance. And in this time here, I think there is a genuine threat that we may quit. We may want to get into this, we get too deep into this, uh, having to self-isolate, having to self-motivate. It's just too hard. I'm going to quit. I can't do it anymore. And it's my encouragement today and, and why I'm here with you today in this virtual format is to, to encourage you to not quit. That is my challenge this week. Don't quit. Don't quit. And I, I want to offer a couple things, some homework this week, but, but I want to dive into the Word. I want to obviously uh, get into the Word to look at an example and to find some hope for us. Unfortunately, today, um, the example I'm going to use is somebody who did quit. Somebody who did quit. John chapter 18, we're going to look at Peter's denial of Christ. When things got really difficult, really difficult, really quick, Peter's first response was, I quit. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I'm going to read from John chapter 18, just a couple sections here, um, starting in verse 15. Simon Peter followed Jesus, as did another of the disciples. That other disciple was acquainted with the high priest, so he was allowed to enter the courtyard with Jesus. Peter had to stay outside the gate. Then a disciple who knew the high priest spoke to the woman watching the gate, and she let Peter in. The woman asked Peter, You're not one of the man's disciples, are you? No, he said, I am not. I quit. A little later down in the same chapter, verse 25. Meanwhile, as Simon Peter was standing by the fire warming himself, they asked him again, You're not one of his disciples, are you? He denied it, saying, No, I'm not. Well, one of the household slaves of the high priest, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, asked, Didn't I see you out there in the olive grove with Jesus? Again, Peter denied it, and immediately a rooster crowed. I wish everything was as easy as quitting. I wish everything was as easy as, as stepping back, maybe not denying Christ, maybe not giving away every bit of our faith, but just taking it easy for a week or two. I wish everything was as easy as quitting. 
So here's what I'm going to ask you, the church, Woodruff Road Christian Church specifically. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do this week. First, pray. Pray. And then pray some more for this mess that the world is facing. Pray for relief. Pray for God to work in amazing ways. For your neighbors, for your friends, for your family. Pray. Pray constantly. Read the Bible. Be in the Word. This week, I have a challenge for you. I'd like you to read one of the Gospels. I bet you thought I was going to say John. I'm going to have you read Mark's Gospels. I want you to walk with Jesus. Find yourself walking and encountering life with Christ. Spend time in Mark's Gospel. Then, pray. Pray some more. This time, pray specifically. Pray for someone. Pray for someone, whether it's in our church, who, who we know is struggling, that needs help, somebody who's just had surgery, somebody who's been shut in, somebody who's isolated, more isolated than us. Pray for them. Then fi via phone or text, connect and check on each other. Stay connected as the body of Christ. Make sure nobody feels abandoned. Nobody feels alone, even in this time when we are as alone as ever. All of these things, we want to be here when we get back, right? When things go back to normal, when things start to settle down. All those things that we want to be here when we come back, don't quit on them. Find yourselves supporting the church financially. Yes, this is awkward, but we still need to pay the bills. We still need to support the church financially. We need to support our missions. Now more than ever, our missions need our financial help. Give. Whether it's online, it was in the link was in the email we sent out yesterday uh, or Saturday, or whether you're mailing a check to the church, give. Continue to tithe. Continue to support the church. We want the church to be here when we get back. If you order carry out, give. Tip excessively. All of these things that we want to be here when things go back to normal, support them. Don't quit on them. Support them however you can. Church, my call for us now is to continue to pray for each other. Pray for relief in this situation. Find yourself walking with Jesus in Mark's gospel. Pray for each other specifically. Check on each other See if there are those needs that we can meet in this time of isolation. But most of all, be the church. Can't wait to get back together. We'll see you soon.